everybody, and welcome back to the Mad Pack. I am Maverick76. On today's episode, I got some things I'd like to show you. Um, this, this was a sad, sad thing. While I was in here doing some work, I heard an explosion. I have no idea what it was, but this whole section of glass and a lot of this wall here and most of this tank was blowed out. The bed was gone, uh, we had to make a new bed, I had to put new tanks in, this is all the XP we got, well it goes, it goes down, but, but there's no meteor, no nothing, there was nothing here, I have no clue what happened. Um, so yeah, that is one thing, as you can see right there, double doors, you can see on the the mini map there's something big out there we'll get to that in a second um let's see we've getting quite a few of these trophies um i have this thing completely full of stuff to dupe anything that we need to dupe um we will be making upgrades with these here shortly um yes i got a trophy there there and there's three over there I got a lot of heads. Um, I think I can put them in here, which I might just go ahead and start doing. As you notice, this one's empty, and this one's empty. Um, we got tool racks for all the tools. More tools there. Put some stuff over there. We're looking all fine and dandy there. This stuff here. I got out a chest in that one big area that we were running around in um, and all that good stuff. Uh, we need to harvest our diamonds and stuff here pretty soon. But let's head on down to the Baisamonte. I cleaned up a lot down here. I dug out a lot. And I switched all of our piping over to Ender IO. The fluid conducts, conducts, conduits, and everything. I'll explain this. I'll explain that over there and that over there here in just a second. But everything is connected up with uh, these fluid ducts and item ducts. Uh, I, I redid everything. Um, this here is our personal XP tank. As you can see, it's got three pipes on it which I put one pipe there. There was like a little bit in each of these tanks that would not flow over that way, so I just went ahead and did that. Whoa. Made them all to export. They come over here. Uh, that The line that runs right here goes up into the big tank as an import. This one comes from our mob grinder that's down over there, um, which I will take you over here and show you what we did. Um, I got rid of the glass, make glass go down further so we can see. Uh, the swords keep getting pulled out by infernal mobs that has a sticky or stealing on them. Um, if we need to, we can turn the light off. I block it in. When I don't want it to do anything, I leave the light on and it very rarely drops anything. Those guys, they just keep making all the noise that they want. This is something that goes to the new thing that we got. And uh, I have all this stuff. Which this chest, this chest, and this one. All these uh, are overflow chests for this one. And yeah, see I got like 13 heads there, 3 there. I mean all this stuff will go up. Is that a good one? Nah. All goes up into the aether manipulator so this feeds that and it's on a switch it's right next to it up there flip the switch it pull automatically pull stuff out of this if we need it to and then this will go up here and on and so forth now this fine fine crafting um pink stuff over here now these are generators and they are all completely full they run off a of pink wool, hence the pink wool 
farm over there. I will show you that in a second. But we have item ducks, which is the green, and power, which is the red. Or conduits, I'm sorry. Not ducks, conduits. Um, that run, you can see right there is where they drop down. Power goes this way, past this. We have uh, one million Minecraft jewels saved up, banked up in there, ready to go. Um, that's our mob essence tank, which pumps in. This is where mob evidence get pumped in. And they come from up there, which I'll show you that in a second. Here's a now item conduit on a vacuum hopper. Now I'm going to tell you one thing. Uh, this chest here, this, these autonomous activators, there's three of them. Every single one of them, I put nine shears into. Because I thought they would break pretty quickly, but no, they don't. I had it set on round and robin, they lasted quite a while. With the condensed space, I put a lot of them together and broke them down. But essentially what you do is you just take this and it automatically starts shearing. And I let these run for about 10, 15 minutes because they grow back really fast in the force juice. And you just see it going. And uh, I made a pink storage chest just like the... Uh, the gray ones over there, except I made these one, this one pink for pink wool. Because all it does is feed the pink generators. And uh, we got quite a bit. Let me do that. And if you watch here. See, it keeps it just keeps adding. I had all three of them running. And uh, oh my goodness. So yeah, we'll lay off the wool for now. Um, with... With this setup that I have, oh, and I changed all these out to the fluid conduits too for our sprinklers. I think they look a lot cooler, a lot cleaner, a lot, a lot better. Now, this is the bottom of the mob grinder. Um, these chests here, I'm really not sure if I need them or not, but we're just gonna leave them there for now. Um, but we got the grinder. We got a vacuum hopper because for some reason these wasn't picking everything up. I don't have no idea why. Uh, they was leaving arrows and gunpowder. Just lay up there. Sometimes string. So I put the vacuum hopper on and it just, it's just sucking everything up. The only thing I don't got pulling out of it is the uh, XP. Um, I have to figure something else out, and I might do that and just pump it over to in there with that, because that's XP, this is mob essence. But we have four grinders in here with power, item, and fluid duct, or conduit. That is being run off of this. Um, let's go show you. I even out of that, I got these six um, lucky blocks, which we will open in today's episode. Okay. Now, this thing. Remember in the last video, we made the soul. I was doing the soul shards. Well, I got them all up to tier five. All four of, four of, four of them. All four of them. And <laughs> this thing is insane. Let me open the doors. This is what it looks like on the inside. That's what it looks like going up. It is 20 blocks high from the bottom of that or from the top of that floor to this one. So some die, some don't. Which is perfectly fine with me. But uh, yeah, here we go. This is just the beginning, too. Yeah. It's, uh... It's crazy. We'll shut that off for now. 
But yeah, look at all the spiders. They like to hang. They try to... I'll show you what's up in there. They try to stay up in there as best as they can. And uh, eventually, they uh, come splatting down. Come on, spider. Need you to come down here so I don't... But right now, these don't catch nothing. Um, I haven't, I have, I haven't really let it run. That was probably the longest that I've let it run since I've made it, because it's, it's kind of, uh, kind of scary. And uh, I thought that when I uh, <laughs> build it. I thought John Bams took those spawners all the way up to level 5. No, he took them to level 3, and now I know why. You remember how full this was? Yeah, we've got quite a bit more stuff in there just for that little bit of time it's ran. Um, a lot of this was from the other one. I just moved it all out of the chest, brought it down here, and threw it in there. Um, so we're good to go there. And let's go up. Let's let's go out. What was I going to show you? Oh, but yeah, there's a switch that that turns it on down there to fill this. Uh, can we actually sleep here real quick? I'll hear some boss women out there. You're a freaky looking dude. But let's head on out here and I'll show you this. Woohoo! I had to fix that over there yet again. Something blowed up. Right in here. Took out a big chunk of fence this time. I always have to keep fixing it. I think it glitches out. Something hit this here. I have no idea what is going on, but there's no meteors to be found. Um, but yeah, here is the mob tower in all of its great glory now these level five mob spawners light does not affect them so I could put windows in there and we could see the whole operation but I decided just to keep it there might still be yeah see there's they hang out Oh, you booger. Did I knock him off? Did he go down? Get off there. We don't. I'm surprised that didn't do no damage. Are you still on it? Oh no, it was a different one on it. Goodbye, buddy. Woo! Okay, let's head on down in here. Yep, it's safe. Now, these are the inactive soul cages right now. They take redstone power, and that switch down there has a, res a uh, transceiver on it. And here's the receiver for wireless redstone. And these ones here are set to uh, channel 10. And the other mob spawner to turn the light on and off is set to like uh, 30. But yeah, this is the floor. It'll drain them straight down in there. Does a really, really, really excellent job of controlling and taking the mobs out. Now, what this will do is once I turn the power on, these uh, light up a purplish color to let you know they're active. Um, I didn't try that in this one, but I watched a video that showed that. What I'm thinking about doing is putting like this one and this one or something like that or that one. Just put two on one channel and two on a different channel. That way I can have two switches that work them separately. That way I don't have to run all four of them because you've seen how it got down there. Down there was a, just a mess. 
and, but it worked really, really, really good. So this took quite a while to build, but uh, it was most excellent because I could fly. Oh, come on. I hit you. I know I did. Um, it helped because I could fly, so it made it a lot easier to build. Um, I love this this uh, magical essent armor. Uh, this Mark was it Mark three. At this armor, just totally, totally awesome. Okay, let's put these back like a so. And let's head over. Let's head over here. This over here is nice and out of the way. Let's do these lucky blocks and see if we can die. I shouldn't say that. I really don't want to die. Lucky block, lucky block, lucky block, you in the way. Lucky block, lucky block, lucky block. Okay, let's start over here. Oh, baby, 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 don't kill me now. Hey, what's all that? Gold armor. Hey, we can uh, break that down and get gold ingots. And eventually, I'll start making lucky blocks. Okay, number two. What the heck? A sponge. <laughs> Just what I always wanted for Christmas. A sponge. Okay, number three. An ender chest. Okay. Number four. Iron tools. Okie dokie. Not the best. Number five. Whole bunch of hay. What are you? Besides really flipping fast. Okay, number six. Final, last, lucky block. Leather. Well, we're doing pretty good. So far, our lucky blocks have brought us pretty good luck. Come here, you little booger. These guys are hard to hit. What the heck? I killed him already? Sissy! I do not think we have any more lucky blocks anywhere else. Let's go double check. Um, let's see, but I just wanted to get on here today and show you guys this here. Um, I was, let's check to see what we need and we'll start upgrading that. Um, I'm going to try to keep this series going until Mad Pack 2 comes out. And then once Mad Pack 2 comes out, we'll, uh, end this series and we'll start on Mad Pack number two, which I've been watching some of John Bams's, uh, live streams of him playing and testing and working things out and I tell you what I can't wait to get my hands on Mad Pack 2 um, let's see I don't think let me check 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 I don't think I had any okay, those were the ones I had sitting here and then and then my mob grinder they've been dropping a lot of these and I got one of those so I'm beginning to wonder if I'm actually supposed to uh, start making an uh, ME system, <laughs> which I have never, ever done an ME system before. Never. So we are going to give that a try. We need to break this stuff down. This, yeah. Uh, this stuff will just go in. Uh, let's throw this here in here. Uh, we'll break it down with the uh, funny looking with the uh, force rod down the hole. I need to get a system that I can just dump in there in a the chest and it'll bring it down here automatically. That can go up there for sure. Oh, I forgot to put the boots away. Get in now. On these things, they don't got any AV, but I usually just take them and do this. What books is? Looting 3. 
We don't leave the books in there neither. Uh, all right, let's add this. Let's add the gold stuff up there. Let's break it down real quick. I got any more up here? Oh yeah, I got a lot of gold up here. Um, we'll break this stuff down. Yeah, see how it automatically is filling up because I opened up some spaces. It just automatically goes down here. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. that looks good. But all that stuff will give us wonderful AV to dupe whatever we need duped. Okay, let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and break this down real quick. This, we've got plenty of force. Can I just do it in here? Yup. Yuppy yup. Four out of that bad boy. There we go. This is the easiest way to get gold. You can do this with iron. Um, diamond. You can do it with diamond to get diamond. And, and, and uh, so forth. All we got to do the swords. But if they're enchanted, you don't get no enchantment off of it or anything. There we go. We go. Whoops. Got a whole stacky out of that bad boy plus one, which we already got a whole stack in here. Now we have almost three stacks plus five of those. So I'll, we need to turn them into some lucky blocks and go out there and test our skills. At more lucky blocks. I added that because, man, we've been getting enchanted books. And I'm getting kind of full. Okay. Now what was we going to do? Oh, I wanted to look into Aether. All right. And Gilded Manipulator. This is the next one up. Or no, no, no. <laughs> Infused is the next one up. So we need these, which is gold. We need this, which that's all that is. Um, we'll go back. Emerald, lapis, emeralds, lapis. Oh wait a minute. No, my bad. Infused diamond, I think. If I remember right. But yeah, we'll get right on to making some of that here. I think I put it in. Yeah, put it in there. Okay, so let's grab. You know what? We're just going to do seven diamonds. And a couple of those. We need some blockers. I need some of these. Oops. And let me grab. I do 25 gold. Saul's in that one. Let's do that. This is what's going to take the most. That. Let's just do this one too. It's not like we can't get more. Uh, well, let's just keep it. Okay, let's go in here. And let's put one of these in there. Oh, that's going to take a while. Holy moly. And as you can see, as it empties, it's, it's using its stuff up in here, which is totally awesome. And like I said, to do anything, you flip the switch and we look in here, bam, 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 it's just filled it right back up. And it will keep it going and keep it full. Um, these meteors, man, they do a lot of AV. They will keep this thing running for a long time. Shut that back off. Let's go over here. Not even close. Man, this is slow stuff. But well, we only need one of those, don't we? At least until we get to here. Well, what do we need here? What is that gold matter? Oh, oh my goodness. This thing here is expensive. So we need one for that right off the bat. 
two, three, three of those. So we need three of these diamonds just for this. Um, and then these ingots here. Gilded block A. Which, you know, I think you make this the same way, except you use uh, this infuser. Or wait. Come on, gather. What is this? Yeah, infuser. Container, manipulator, extractor. Ah, here's the infuser. This one. The aether catalyst. I think that's what we need to make those because those say gilded ingots and, and you know, so forth. You done yet? Oh, my goodness. How much did you eat up? Oh, my goodness. Man. Well, this thing don't hold a lot of power, and neither does this. So, I mean, it's no biggie. We've got a lot of stuff down there. It's not like I can't go flip that on and just let it run by itself. And just, you know, fill it completely up. Come on. You're almost there, brother. You can do it. Okay, so let's find out how many of these. We need six. Six. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those. Okay. Oh, this is glitched out. I was like, wait a minute. So I got 13, 14, 15, 16. That, 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 you cheater. Oh, this is going to go pretty quick. Thank goodness. Because, wow! That other was just nutty. Well, let's fill this back up. And it had to pick the slowest thing that there was to, to, take, to take out. Oh, well, we'll just leave that on and let that go. Oh, yeah, we're already up to five. Give me number six. Now, what else was this? Oh, this is a glowstone, so we need six of those. Oh, we got six of those. Let we need a workbench over there. So we do this. It was like this, wasn't it? I think so. Gives us eight infused conduits. I didn't even count those, did I? Eh. Who cares? Okay. Give me those. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um, let's do this. Okay. Can I shift click? Yes, I can. There we go. And then the next one will be this side here, which needs the emeralds. So we need that. We need that and that. Like so. What else was there? What was in the middle? Oh, glowstone. And one of them. Now we just gotta go get more ingots. Get more ingots. There we go. Oh, there's only two more. We'll just wait for this to get done here. It's coming to a draw on the end of the episode. How are you doing? Uh, you're completely filled back up. That's good. Let's shut that off. Um, I'm going to have to pull all that stuff out of there. So we can put this bad boy down. Uh, okay. So we need that. And that gives us this. So now we just got all this. Let's we'll hit this. Take this. There we go. We got our new infused manipulator. Um, I will replace this and everything. What you doing? Go away. Just go away. And uh, then we... I'll, I'll just go ahead and craft the rest of these because this is all it is.
we need that one, and we need, what else we got? Infuser and Reconstructor. So we need this here to, we'll make the catalyst. But you know, it's just a typical, regular stuff. Actually, where is... I'm just going to do all those. And I ain't even going to worry about it. Um, yeah, so we need, cause we need two there. And we don't need any there. And we need the re... Oh, is there only, there's only one reconstructor. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see how that works. Not a problem. So we just need to make the three. We need to make that, that, and that out of this. So, um, I'll just go ahead and throw them together. And uh, then in the next episode, we'll work on uh, tier three together. And then see what we can do from there. And we're getting, I'm, I'm getting ready. We'll go do some dungeon fighting and stuff but uh, I want to make another set of this armor also and that way we have it here and then we need to find the portal to the to the end it's time to take our bow and lay into the lay into the old mean old dragon and I just shoot him in the butt several times yeah here we go Burn, zombie, burn. But until next time, I'm Maverick76. See you later.